Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy a Bitscap crypto trading grid bot with their new trailing down feature they just released recently. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform that has a built-in trading terminal. They also have arbitrage features. You can do demo trading, but today we will be taking a look at their grid bots and the new trailing down feature. As you can see down here, new feature trailing down is now live. Now, you might be wondering what type of investment is required to get started, and you can actually get started for free. They offer a 14-day free trial, and if you use the link I'll drop in the description down below, you'll receive the pro plan for free during that 14-day free trial. Now, once your trial expires, you can join for $19 a month, and that will get you two active trading bots. Now, if you think you want to deploy more than two active trading bots, you could step up to the advanced plan, and that will get you five five active trading bots and also access to the arbitrage feature. Now I personally use the pro plan and that allows me to have up to 15 live trading bots at any given time. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot. Now, once you have joined Bitscap, you will need to connect an exchange in order to do any type of live trading. And so via the tabs across the top of the screen, you would click on my exchanges. There you would click on add new exchange. You can see I already have a few exchanges connected. You then can use the drop down box to select your exchange that you want to actually connect. Once you select your exchange, you would need to go to your exchange, create some API keys, and then copy and paste your API key and your secret key, then hit connect and you'll be good to go. From here, you're ready to configure and deploy a bot. So we jump over to the bots tab and give it a click. And that will bring you to the bot configuration dashboard where you can actually configure your bot. You will also be able to see your current bots that are running and any of the history of your previous bots that were running by clicking on these tabs. And as you can see, I currently have a bot running on BTC USDT. This bot was deployed just around 21 days ago and it was to act more as a hedge as I anticipated a sell-off in Bitcoin back when I deployed the bot, you can see I deployed the bot right here where you start seeing the little targets appear. And we did get the sell-off and we have since seen the pump up to the current levels of just shy of 41,000. And as you can see, I have trailing up turned on and the grid has moved up with that price action, which has taken the grid up and beyond my original grid levels where you see the price action at this level was within the grid and I was taking advantage of the dip and the rip up. Now, if Bitcoin were to dump back down into the say 32 to 30,000 range, my current settings would not follow that price down as I do not have the trailing down feature enabled due to the fact it wasn't available when I deployed this bot. So with that being said, I would obviously want to buy Bitcoin if it were to dump back down into the 30,000 level. And if we take a look at the current settings for this particular bot, you can see I have trailing up turned on, but I don't have the option to actually turn on trailing down. So I am going to have to close this bot out and then redeploy a new bot. And so I just come back down to the bot options and click on close. And as you can see, during the 21 days, the bot's up 4.37%. My investment change is up 4%. So I'm in the profit over a 20-day period of 4%. And again, this bot does not fall under my typical 1% profit per day. That's not why I deployed this bot. I deployed this bot to act as a hedge against Bitcoin going down. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Bitcoin went down and when it ripped up, it took advantage of buying low and selling high. Now I do have a couple options to close the bot and the first one is cancel all open orders and that will actually then hold on to the current Bitcoin that I have or I can close the bot and sell at the current market price. In this situation, I'm going to be deploying a new bot on Bitcoin. So I'm actually just going to select cancel all open orders so I can configure a new bot and use my current Bitcoin in that bot configuration. So we just click close bot. 
and you can see the bot has been canceled and now I can configure the new bot utilizing the new feature of trailing down. And so for starters, I need to determine my lower price limit and my upper price limit. And I typically set the upper and lower price limits somewhere around resistance and support. And so for my lower price level, I'm going to come into where I see support along this level. And for my upper price, I'm going to come into where I see resistance, which more than likely is going to be around 41,000. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot works, a grid bot is basically made up of open limit orders, both buy and sell limit orders. The green lines represent your open limit buy orders, and the red lines represent your open limit sell orders. And the objective is when the price goes down, the bot is buying as it hits these open limit buy orders at a lower price and when the price goes up and it starts to hit the red lines or the open limit sell orders it sells at a higher price so you're buying the dip and selling the rip up for profit now in the past my lower price level I generally tried to give a little more room towards the side down and not as much room on the way up because we had the trailing up feature available which would allow the grid to follow the price up as the price continued to move up. Now with the new trailing down feature, I don't necessarily need to give the bot as much room towards the downside with my lower price level. And so I can drag my lower price up to where I see support right around this area here. And so with the tighter grid levels, I want trailing up enabled and I want my trailing down enabled as well. And as you can see, when you set up the trailing down, it sets a level for the trailing down feature to actually stop. And in this case, I don't want it to stop at 32,000. I actually want it to stop around 28,000. And at that point, I actually want to stop the bot perhaps regroup and reconsider redeploying new bots. So now I have my upper limit set. I have my lower limit price set. I have trailing up enabled. I have my trailing down enabled along with when I want that trailing down feature to actually stop. The next option I have is take profit. And if I was to enable take profit, I could actually have the bot take profit based on a percentage. I don't typically use this feature as I generally monitor my bots on a daily basis basis and I will manually take profit if I decide to go ahead and stop the bot. The next option is stop loss and I'm going to set that stop loss just below that 28,000 level at 27,000. All right, now I have my stop loss configured. I'm not going to be enabling take profit. Trailing up and trailing down are enabled and ready to go. I have my upper and lower price levels set. Now I need to actually determine how much ammo am I going to go ahead and give this bot. And I can actually just wipe out the amount there. And I will get a pop-up that will notify me the minimum, which is 420 USD, to actually start the bot with my current settings. Now on my previous bot that we just closed down, I had 900 USDT in ammo for the bot. So I'm going to give the bot 900 USDT again. And if you decide you don't want to trade BTC to USDT, you can actually click on the pair box and select from all the different assets available on your actual exchange. In this case, my exchange is Binance and I could switch to one of my other connected exchanges like Qcoin or OKX. But in this case, I'm going to stick with Binance. And then my bot strategy is going to be SBOT. I basically have two choices and they are SBOT or Classic Bot. And I have found SBOT to be the most effective out of the two options. Now that I have all the settings in place, I can click on Backtest. Now, we're not going to see huge results of my traditional 1% per day in profit, but that is not why I deploy a grid bot on BTC. I deploy grid bots on some of the altcoins to achieve higher profits, but when I deploy it on Bitcoin, it's either to accumulate Bitcoin at a lower price or to sell at a higher price. And at the end of the day, if I'm buying low, I'm fine in holding Bitcoin long term. Or if I'm taking some profits, I can roll those profits back into buying more Bitcoin. And as you can see, the results are pretty slim. But it's important to remember backtest results don't necessarily mean future results. So I don't put a lot of weight into these backtest results. 
All right, we have everything configured. My strategy is SBOT. My exchange is Binance US. The pair I'll be trading is BTC USDT. My total investment will be 900 USDT. The lower price range will be 36.4, and my upper price range will be right around 41,000. My grid spacing, which is the space between each one of the grids, is set to 0.57, and my total number of grids on the actual chart is going to be 21 grids. Now, I could adjust this and get more grids in here, say 30 grids, then you'll see my grid spacing drop, and we could run another back test and see what kind of effect that has. And that actually lowered my results as far as profit goes. So that actually isn't all that appealing. Now I could actually on the flip side increase my grid spacing to say 0.49. And that would give me 25 grids. And we could run a back test and see what type of results we end up with that new numbers. And we see the results increase. It doesn't go quite as high as I had previously. But in the end, I think I'm going to go ahead and run with these figures, the 25 grid levels with a 0.49% grid spacing, because I'm not actually looking for big profits out of this bot. I'm actually looking for this bot to buy Bitcoin at lower prices and accumulate profit if the price goes up. So moving on down, we have trailing up enabled. We have the brand new trailing down feature enabled with our stop level at 28,000. I did not enable take profit, but I did enable a stop loss at 27,000. So now we're ready to deploy the bot. So I just click on start. And you can see the lines to the grid are starting to fill in and the bot has started. And so that pretty much wraps it up. I know I will be using the trailing down feature going forward in the future on all of my Bitsgap trading bots. That's a huge weapon that has been added to the arsenal for this platform. So if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. You might also want to shoot that subscribe button while you're at it. If you like videos about crypto trading, that is the type of content I generally create. So shoot that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below, and that will get you your 14-day free trial of the Pro Plan. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.